So what's up everybody? This is Kosho. Sitting here just after I got off work. Just got the new Spectrum A5080 high voltage servos. They are a mid torque and speed mini digital servo. There's 130 ounces of torque coming out of these bad boys at 8.4 volts. So if you got a speed control that can do 8 volts, you will get that kind of power. Um, they come in this cool little metal box and uh, here it is right here. Just your plastic case with the um, aluminum center here. Looks like the motor kind of sticks out on the side for cooling. Um, we're gonna we're gonna plug them in and we're gonna center them and uh, I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna get these arms put on. Um, We'll put the servos in the airplane. So we're gonna be working on an extreme flight uh, 60 inch extra NG. And um, I'm gonna put a, a spectrum receiver in it and uh, things like that and kind of show you guys how to tune it up. So stay tuned, thank you. So let's show you some of the specs of the new Spectrum A5080 high voltage mid torque mid speed servos. Specifications here, well, same size as most mini servos. We're at 35.56 by 14.99 by 29.97 millimeters. The weight of these is 34 grams a piece. The torque at six volts is 110 ounce inches. The torque at 7.4 is 118 ounce inches. The torque at 8.4 volts is 130 ounce inches. The transit speed at 6 volt is 0.14 um, at point at 7.4 volts we're at 0.11 and at 8.4 we're at 0 0.094 at 8.4 so pretty fast bearing is single gears are metal the motor is coreless on these not brushless and the operating voltage is 4.8 to 8.4 volts they are recommended for airplanes and uh, you're going to get a metal gear drive that's uh, low wear and a very nice tight gear mesh here. There's no rattle at all on this. This is a very tight gear train. That's a good sign on these servos. So these are new, They're, um, they've just been released and I was lucky enough to get a set. So uh, thank you again, Horizon Hobby. And I'll put these to good use. So uh, that was it on the specification. Okay, so the servos mounted up nicely. They fit really good in the 60 inch Extreme Flight Extra NG from Extreme Flight in Georgia. Very beautiful airplane. I'm just gonna show you a little bit about these uh, servos here in the fuselage. We'll get to the wings later. Um, there's also a, uh, let's see it in there, there's an AR637T receiver in there with a 4651 that we will be working on. So stay tuned. Okay, so here we are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and center these servos up. They, they probably come centered, but this is a good thing to do just to uh, test servos that may be laying around or uh, you just got a new servo and you want to know how good it is um, or how silent it is. Verify that it's centered, any of those things. Um, so here I have my spectrum checker. I'm plugged into a almost dead battery right now, a 6S 3200. Um, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and push this button here, and we're gonna go down to servo test. And if I double tap this, you'll see that the servo uh, moves. And if you listen, there's no noise in the servo. So I'm already digging it. Um, this is a really good sign. I like it when my servos are, are quiet and I'm putting a bind on it right now and you can't hear them. Um, sometimes you get some of those servos that are noisy and fluttery and that tends to bug you. So these servos here are really, really smooth. In my hand too, they feel really smooth. So I'm sure these are gonna be great performers. This is not as fast as they go. This is basically just a servo test that's moving the servo as far as it can go in each direction. So if I stop the button, this would be the center. So as you can see, my arm isn't centered. Um, sometimes it's the machining of the arms. 
but if I can get this off here, <laughs> I pushed it on, I guess. Okay, so we'll center it, and then I would call that centered, and we can go ahead and put this in the airplane, and then we'll we'll sub trim it basically with the receiver once we get that far. So again, uh, you know, that'd be full throw. That's centered, and then there you go. So that's as close as that's going to get to centered. So that's a little bit on the servo tester. It's pretty cool. Okay, so we're done mounting the servos with the Extreme Flight long arms on them. And uh, they're looking real good in the airplane. We're out here in my kitchen so that we can mount the wings. And we're going to move to the AR637T receiver in the next video with the link below. Thank you.